Um, I asked you guys on Instagram um, to give me some Q and A's. So a lot of people had a lot of things to say, and you know, we're gonna answer them. So yeah. Hello, welcome back to the channel and if you are new here hey what's up and what's good so today we are going to be getting into a Q&A video so I asked you guys on Instagram um to give me some juicy questions and y'all gave me some juicy questions so we're gonna answer these questions all right so I had about like I say about 10 so further or not let's get straight into it so like comment and subscribe down below also hit that new notification button so you get new notifications when i upload new videos so let's get into it the first question is where do i live so i do live here in cleveland ohio but um i plan on trying to move to a different location because i don't want to live here in cleveland ohio no more um i feel like it's nothing here for me at all so if i really want to expand on what i really want to do i'm gonna have to go ahead and just move from cleveland ohio so i'm gonna leave that for another video i'm not about to tell y'all everything but just know i live in cleveland ohio and i plan on moving so um the second question is how many kids do you want to have um so how many kids do i want to have how many kids do i want to have mm. i say i only want to have one baby um the reason why i want to have one baby is because one um i feel like you know ooh. um baby the reason why i only want to have one baby is because you know i want to be able to spoil my baby get my baby whatever he or she wants um but at the same time like i don't want to have a lot of children um i feel like it's that that's just too much chaos for me um i've been dealing with kids i say my whole life you know i've been dealing with <laughs> my siblings my whole life so basically those are my children they begin on my nerves 24 7 but till then i only just want one baby if i do get a baby in the future you know um third question is do i have trust issues you know my man you know that's the love of my life baby i love him so much i love him dearly you know, he made me trust in him more. You know, it's a lot of things that me and my boyfriend deal with behind closed doors that nobody don't really know but me and him for real. But at the same time, like, I love him. And he made me want to be able to trust again. And, but... It's like, I've been hurt so much in the past. I just felt like uh, I have a little bit of trust issues. Like a little bit, a little bit, you know. Like, I try, you know. So, I say it's about like, ooh, I say it's about like 10% trust issues and 90 percent not trust issues if you get what i'm saying okay next question is how did you become an influencer um so right now i am a micro influencer so a micro influencer is basically like a little influencer right now not like a big one so basically i just started so i just went to walmart got like a little content creator little stand tripod and stuff like that and i use my phone i don't use no canon camera no none of that i just started you know 
and at first it gets a little bit hectic but you have to learn how to stay consistent when it comes to posting videos posting ads for businesses and stuff like that also you want to make sure that you do reach out to these brands as well don't be that person that just be shy and then think uh business or reach out to you you have to reach out to the business like put yourself out there don't be that person that just sits and wait because when you sit and wait ain't nothing gonna come to you closed mouths don't get fed so you have to make sure that you as a person is really putting yourself out there an influencer you have to put yourself out there um learn marketing strategies learn everything when it comes to stuff like that like if you really passionate about this shit like really do it don't be scared at all and you know i actually love it you know and you also have to make sure that you make a media kit as well a media kit to me is basically like a, like another resume you know like you know how you make a resume for a job basically you making a resume for yourself as a person like you describing yourself you describing your rates the businesses that you had work with brands etc okay so make sure that that's on point don't be like i said don't be scared go ahead and do it if it's something that you want to do you have to to do it team what is your workout routine so um as you guys noticed um i have been losing a little bit of weight i've been toning up and everything um so <laughs> i'm not sure if i really want to leave this for another video or if i want to dis or if i want to disclose this information right now um but you know one day i just looked at myself in the mirror because i noticed i really wasn't as confident as i was now like before i i got like a whole bunch of shorts and everything okay and i'm a curvy girl I'm very confident and i really don't care what nobody say before i used to care what people say now i don't give a i don't care no more so um one day like i said i was in a mirror looked at myself and like you know what i'm about to change myself around so i had hit up my bro his name is trey um his instagram name is trey three fitness i'm gonna drop his instagram like right here or right here somewhere in the corners if y'all look and see so um he gave me a workout plan and um i told him what i wanted to do i wanted to lose weight but i also wanted to tone up as well and you know when he gave me that plan i'm not gonna lie to y'all i wasn't consistent i wasn't eating how i was supposed to be eating i was overeating i was eating things that i wasn't supposed to be eating and i wasn't working out but you know, like I said, I had to pull myself out of that. It was like, you know, I had to have a talk with God and be like, God, like, keep me consistent. And then, therefore, now, like, I go to the gym Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And then sometimes I try to add in on a Saturday as well. Um, and, you know, I get that work in. So now i notice a difference and i say i've i've been you know i've been really good you know i've been feeling better um i've been more motivated to do a workout rather than just not do it because you know the more and more you work out and see results the more you will want to work out if you get what i'm saying you know like you really have to make sure that you really stay consistent when it comes to stuff like that. Don't be that person that just be like, oh, I don't see results. You're not going to see results on the first day, y'all. Y'all can't just be overworking yourself on the first day be like, oh, I don't see results, so I'm not going to work out no more. No, you have to stay consistent. That is the key. Stay consistent. To Another question. <clears throat> Another question is... Would you go back to any of your exes? 
No. No. I would not go back to any of my exes. Um, The past is the past, and I move forward. Um, I dealt with a lot of... I dealt with a lot of toxic men back then. And I'm not going back to any of them at all, period. No. I mean, some of them wasn't toxic. Some of them, we didn't work out. Uh, we just wasn't compatible. But I wouldn't go back to none of my exes. No. The past is the past. And we're going to move forward. Some of them... I'm cool and cordial with the other ones. Mm -mm. What is your skin routine? So, I'm not going to drop that video. Um, It's a video that I will be dropping probably in like two weeks or so of my skin routine. Um, A lot of people do be asking me, do I wear makeup? I do not wear makeup, y'all. I do not wear makeup. The only thing that I wear is damn lip gloss. I do not wear makeup. Um, I just throw on some eyelashes and it just make it look like I have makeup on y'all, to be honest with you. I really don't have makeup on. People already have a clue of some of the skin stuff that I use, but I also use some other stuff too instead of just that. So, yeah. Um, what was my biggest regret? I say now that now that um I really look back at things, I don't really have a biggest regret because if I would have never went through the things that I went through in life, I probably wouldn't be as humbled as I am now. You know, when you go through a storm, you're gonna see a light at the end. If you don't go through no bad times, then you know you just gotta you gotta go through them bad times to be humble bro because it really humbled me and molded me into a person you know and you know i'm not gonna lie to you i do be complaining about the things that be bothering me and stuff like that but at the same time like i said you gotta go through those things in order to really be humbled do i like girls and would i date a girl N no um dating a girl that's not my cup of tea um but if i see a girl that's very pretty i'm gonna be like oh you're pretty duh, duh. but me i wouldn't date no girl personally because like i said that's not my cup of tea i love men and men only i don't like women at all that's just not my cup of tea um i mean like i said i get compliments and everything and it's it's some women that do like me but that's not no i can't do that no i'm sorry yeah that's uh, no who does your nails okay so i've been getting my nails done by the same person i say probably for the past what four years now if i'm not mistaken um, I'm gonna drop her Instagram right here somewhere, somewhere on the screen. I'm gonna drop her Instagram. Um, she been who I don't have no problems, and she always she's a she is a perfectionist when it comes to like my nails. She don't be like how I feel. Not to throw no shade at no nail tech or anything, but I feel like some nail techs be trying to rush other people. Because they have someone else coming, if you get what I'm saying. Like, I don't like when other people be trying to rush. If I'm paying you, for example, if I'm paying you $140 for some nails, this is just an example. If I'm paying you $140 for some nails, you gonna take your time doing it. Don't be over here rushing me out of the chair because you got someone else coming, if you get what I'm saying. Like, take your time with doing my nails. And with her, she take her time. You know, she shape them very well. And she do what she have to do. Okay? She do my feet really good. She do my nails really good. Her prices are out of this water. I, I love her very much. Y'all don't understand. Because without her, my hands and feet would be looking like... I don't even know. 
Have you ever had a threesome? Oh, no. No, Um, I never had a threesome. Um, That's just not my cup of tea. I don't like to share. Uh, No, that's not. Uh-uh. Nope, nope. Mm -mm. I gotta take a sip of that. Because, I mean, toodles to you if you do do that. But me? Mm -mm. I don't like to share. Do you eat ass? What the? <laughs> <laughs> oh, who asked that question? Like, drop it in the comment. Who asked that question? Do I eat ass? Do I eat butt? Really? Do I eat butt? Do it look like I eat butt? No. I'm... <sighs> That was just disrespectful. I mean, women that do eat, but toodles to y'all. Like, that's y'all cup of tea. Y'all love to do that. If you love to eat your man's, uh-huh, then toodles to you. But me, personally? Oh, no. No, 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 no. My, my tongue and mouth is not going on my man's ain't no hole. That is, oh, my God. Who just... Y'all, what type of what type of questions do y'all be asking me, bruh? Okay, the next question says, "Do I suck my man's toes?" Hold up, wait a minute. I'm not suck. Yo, let me tell y'all something, bruh. Like I said, if another girl does that to her man. Then that's on her. I'm not judging you. But me, I ain't sucking my man's toes. No, it's the it's the other way around, baby. My man can suck my toes. But I'm not sucking my man's toes. Mind you, my man, he do got some, he got some cute feet, but I'm not sucking. No. His toe is not going in my mouth. Oh no. Oh. Mm, mm, mm. No. No. No, <laughs> no, no, no. Oh. The next question. Would you date a man that got nipple piercings? <laughs> yeah, that's true. Would I date a man that got nipple piercings? Um, no. That's, I mean, if, if a dude decides to pierce his nipples, then that's on him or whatever. But, you know, like I said, I'm not judging nobody on anything when it comes to their nipple piercings and everything. But at the same time, like, I don't know if I could really date a man that has nipple piercings. Sorry, but no. Y'all. Woo! Woo! So I'ma say is woo. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed this video, but it will be a part two because y'all these questions that will be in part two out of this. So, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, like I said, also hit that notification button so you get new notifications when I upload new videos. And I will see y'all guys in the next one. Bye.